all right so we are back with another video and in this one we'll be adding a PCI Wi-Fi card to the P4 retro PC um, no, it's kind of funny calling it retro people are running with Amigas and stuff um, but this is what I got this is what I'm going to work with so fun stuff um, doesn't have a PCIe slot although I can see very clearly the soda mask for PCIe and that makes me angry uh, because this is probably just a productization thing uh, you know create different SKUs don't give people PCI although you just have to solder in one little slot there and it should have worked but right we will work with what we have uh, let's see we are going to use this which is a PCI Wi-Fi adapter um, is based on the WN851 uh, chip which is well supported in Linux and in FreeBSD uh, and um, in, uh, in 300 which means 300 megabits per second so pretty decent um, 2.4 gigahertz of course the transfer speeds of 5 gigahertz would be meaningless in PCIe so it's better to have the range than to have you know, 5 gigahertz Taking it out, do a little unboxing. Um, we have a little support disc there uh, with, with the drivers. Uh, of course, <laughs> no Linux drivers there. Uh, the drivers are built into the kernel. Um, the firmware is in there, everything is available. It should work out of the box. Uh, we have our two antennas because it's 2 by 2 MIMO which is really nice it's a pretty recent chipset um, I mean by recent I mean it's not ancient at, at least not as old as this system um, and we have our board right there uh, it says TP link um, and that's it it's a, it's a little can on uh, the actual chipset and we have our two antennas and status LED so let's go ahead and add that to the main board so what I'm worried about here is that um, this is, by the way, if you guys don't know, is uh, it's a it's a telephone connection. One of the old. This is a modem built into the uh, built into the PCI bus, so you don't have to have an external modem so to to get the network over the telephone line, which still exists into this state for some reason. Um, but we are going to use a PCI slot beneath that and the thing I'm afraid of is that the PCI slot has rust in it so I'll probably insert it in a couple of times and then uh, set it and try it out alright so that is set up and I will add the Wi-Fi antennas so they go right there There's one and the other. And that should give us decent Wi Fi. Um, right, so I'll keep this down, plug it in, try it out, and show you guys if it works. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. Alright, the Wi Fi card is installed and it works. So I have connected to my local network or my home Wi Fi and you can see it there it's connected um, and it's working it's the same card that we installed and it shows up as uh, Qualcomm Ethros so that must be the chipset inside uh, I have the terminal opened up and if I do ls PCI ls pci dash vv that should show us our card right there uh, so network controller qualcomm Atrius ar29227 wireless network adapter that's the one um, and using the ath9k driver which is fine and that it's working fine for me it should be working fine for a lot of other people uh, let's see if we can reduce the exposure so it's much better 
visible there you go um and yeah so pretty much everything on this system is on the on the pcie bus uh, of course there's the uh, gpu the intel integrated graphics not the intel hd uh, you, if you think intel hd was bad intel hd is the reason external graphics um, people buy them this is the reason why external graphics card exists the intel integrated graphics controller uh, the reason why amd and nvidia are selling business um, and you have the high definition audio controller uh, everyone has a very different definition of higher definition in my mind this isn't high definition uh, usb controller usb controller usb controller usb controller the usb controller so a lot of these uh, pcie bridge uh, that will be the one that breaks out to the three pcie buses from the main uh, Northbridge chipset uh, and we have an ISA bridge apparently we have an internal ISA bus somewhere which I don't see or which I don't recognize might be the unpopulated slot that uh, I thought was going to be PCIe and it turns out it might be ISA so we'll have to see about that so we have the IDE interface um, and it has a SATA controller on there might be the thing I'm using, not sure. Uh, SM bus uh, and then communications controller, which is the LSI stuff. Not sure which one's that. Um, win modem, yep, that's the 50k, 56k modem on there. So, yeah, I, I don't have anything to run it over that, so I don't mind that. We have a network controller and we have an onboard Ethernet controller which does 10100 I think uh, which is nice and we have a firewire controller uh, because back in the day we didn't have USB 3 or, or good stuff like that we used firewire right that's about it it works I can open up a web page if I go here click to the internet Firefox go to YouTube I'm kind of curious if 1080p videos will work let's adjust the brightness once again I'm, I'm pretty sure 1080p videos won't work um, so let's just go to my channel so do we don't get copy striked for nitty gritty things It takes it own, its own time, like the CPU is at 100%. I'm not sure if it, we are going to get any video playback. And if I run top, yeah, it's, it's the CPU is gone ski. Um, yeah, the, the days of a single core CPU, it kind of feels like running it on, on running on the first gen Raspberry Pi. It's much faster than the first gen Raspberry Pi, of course, it's running at 3.6 GHz, it's x86. And all that good stuff, but um, it's, it's still single core, and you, you can feel that. So, even in this, it's just hitting a hundred percent. And this, I think, 360p. So, yeah, that's something. And you open up the settings, it takes a time, it's at 480p, so I, I, I'll give it that. Oh boy, um, 720p, I don't think so, it's, it's going to be dropping frames. I won't even let me open the stats for Nord stuff. Uh, no. So I'm just going to close this one. Anyways, uh, that was it, uh, the network card is installed, uh, the network works. Um, of course, no one's going to be streaming. Uh, full HD content over this uh, P4 is just a few cores less than what we really need uh, for a, for a full HD smooth video streaming I mean the P4 core if it had at least two or three cores it would work but right now for full HD video streaming it's not going to work and that's all it for this episode uh, we have installed a PCI 
not PCIe or PCI Wi-Fi adapter, just pretty modern by its standard. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.